Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. Good day everybody, Michael Posnick here, Century 21 Northumberland, your high definition real estate agent here in PEI. I don't usually do commentaries, but today I thought I'd take a, uh, a few minutes out of my uh, schedule to uh, bring something to your attention that just makes me laugh every time I hear it because it's just so utterly ridiculous. And if anything, I want to be entertaining when I make my videos. What we're going to discuss today is the miracle agent. The miracle agent would be like Superman. He can jump tall buildings, you know, travel at the speed of light, lift a locomotive with one hand. Well, in this case, the miracle agent is a real estate agent that's capable of taking a property that might be you know, 100% or 200% overpriced, 100,000 overpriced, and sell it immediately because he's super agent or the miracle agent. Now, the problem is, in theory, if the miracle agent existed, why wouldn't I co-list all my listings with Mr. Miracle Agent? Then I could sell all of them today because he's so miraculous. The fact is that Miracle Agent doesn't exist. And the reason I bring this up because I see constantly vendors that will have properties that are being listed with perfectly capable excellent agents and they're you know when the listing expires they're switching to what they feel is this miracle agent that's going to sell their property instantly and in most cases when they do this they're picking agents that really don't have any sales or marketing plan or probably not the best pick for their particular property. In some cases, we've got people picking agents in one city that are from another, or we get them picking agents that are a five or six hour drive away in Halifax because it's a commercial property. So not to go on a, a rant about the subject of finding the miracle agent, but what really made me make this video was a occurrence I ran into uh, about a year or so ago where I listed a cottage that uh, I clearly told the vendor it was worth 129, 135. They insisted it was worth a lot more as vendors typically do. So they put it on for 179 or 189. The property sat for over a year. And of course it was my fault that it couldn't be sold. Even at uh, the 179 or 189, I was getting numerous showings. I was putting many people through it. But of course it didn't sell. A lot of times people are not going to tell you it's because of the price, but it is because of the price. Any property will sell today if it's put on at the right price. So regardless of this, they found their miracle agent. Their miracle agent they found was walking down the beach one day. I guess she was on vacation or something. It was the summer. And they thought this was the person to list with. This is our miracle agent. Michael can't sell it. This girl can. This girl is a very part-time agent, lives out of province, all winter so of course she can sell it uh, so what happened is the property did sell for 115 so the lesson to be learned here if they just put it on for the right price to begin with which was 129 139 it probably would have sold they probably would have got that but instead they relisted it properly in my opinion probably didn't get a lot of market exposure in turn they lost twenty to thirty thousand dollars the, the point of this video is to do your research. If you're not happy with the agent, or more so, your property hasn't had any attention, chances are if you've done your research to begin with and you've picked an agent that has a marketing plan, you know, and the property is priced right, it should sell. But what's happening is people aren't doing their research. If you're going to try to change from one agent to the other because you think that's the right choice, uh, take time to compare those agents. I've got some really good examples of comparison charts. Everything can be found at michaelsadvantages.com or by going to michaelshomes.com and clicking on the seller's link. All I'm asking you to do is if you're going to change agents or if you're going to initially list with an agent, pick an agent that has marketing exposure experience, a full-time agent, uh, and do your homework. You know, there's no sense hiring an agent that's going to have to spend three or four or five hours driving out to your property and back to show it. It's probably not going to happen. Or hiring somebody that's got a full-time job. If you want to hire that person that has a full-time job because they're a friend, because it's the island way, 
at least co-list it with an agent that's full-time that's going to answer their phone and get back to the other agents for showings instantly. So that's my two cents worth for today. Uh, have a great day and remember to buy it right. Hi there, Michael. I love your videos. You demand, boy. You demand.